Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Blade Templates. Blade is the inbuilt templating engine for Laravel framework. Blade is a very powerful and easy to use templating engine that makes writing syntax very easy and readable. Blade Templates engine comes with its own control structure such as conditional statements and loops. Okay? Blade Templates file extension is .blade.php Blade Templates are typically stored in the views directory which is inside the resource folder. So now let's create a Blade Template file. So switch to the project and just go inside the resources directory then views and here let's create a new file. Let's say file name is test.blade.php okay? And inside this file, just add here h1 tag and simply write a message test blade. Okay. And for accessing this uh, blade file, let's create a route. Okay. So just go inside the uh, route direct, uh, directory and just open web.php. And here, just write route get and add the URI and here just add the callback function so just write your function and inside this function just return a view and the view name is test dot uh, test okay so simply just write here test all right now save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and just go to the test URL okay and you can see here test blade. Now let's see how can we create a variable inside the blade template file. So just go inside the test blade.php file and here just add the PHP directives. Okay, so just for adding the directive, just use add the date sign and just add here PHP and just close this directive. So just write here in PHP. Okay. And inside this, let's create a variable, let's say dollar name, and add the value. So just write here, send me for. All right. Now let's print this variable inside the blade file. So just use the double curly bracket. So let's add the s2 tag, and inside this, let's add the curly bracket, and here dollar name. Okay. Now save this file and now let's check. So switch to the browser and refresh the page and you can see here the name Jennifer. Okay. Now let's create an array variable. Okay. So for creating array variable, just write here the variable name. Let's say puts array and inside this array just pass some element. So write here mango. Apple, banana, okay, uh, let's say pineapple, alright, now let's uh, print this array element using for each, okay, for each directive, so here just, just uh, add the heading, so just write here is two tag fruits uh, fruits okay and here just use the for each directive so just write here add the rate for each and inside this just write here dollar dollar fruits as dollar fruit okay and close the for each directive so just write here int for each all right and add the evil tag and inside this evil tag just add the li tag okay and here inside the double curly bracket just write here for this one okay 
all right now save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and refresh the page and you can see here the fruits and the fruits list okay now let's see the four directive so let's print one to ten numbers using the four directive so for that just uh, just write here first of all add the br tag for line change and just add here four and inside this four directive just add here dollar i and set the initial value one dollar i is less than and equal to ten okay dollar uh, sorry dollar i and dollar i plus plus all right just close the in uh, four directive so just write here and four and inside this simply print here dollar i and add here the br tag for line change and just refresh the page and you can see here the number one to ten okay now let's see the if statement okay so here I'm just going to use this roots variable for understanding the if statement. So just write here. First of all, add the br tag, and here I'll just add at the rate if directive, and here just use the count function dollar roots if dollar uh, count dollar roots is equal to one then simply print here single fruit okay at the rate else if if count of uh, dollar fruits is greater than uh, one so just print here more than one uh, fruit okay and in the this part just write here no quote all right and just close the if directive so just write here in if all right now save this file and uh, just refresh the page you can see here more than one quote okay now let's just remove uh, this element from this area so remove this now save this file and refresh the page you can see here single foot all right and if I remove all the element now you can see here no foot all right now let's see the ternary operator okay so inside this PHP directory let's create another variable dollar case okay and let's assign the value 18 all right now here just add the VR tag now inside the double curly bracket just add the condition dollar if dollar is dollar is is greater than and equal to 18 then add the question mark the sprint the sprint here you are adult okay Otherwise, just print you are not right. All right. If the, this condition uh, is true, then execute this line. Return this line. Okay. And if condition is false, then this uh, this part will be returned. Okay. So just save this file and. Uh, just refresh the page you can see here you are adult because it is equal to 18 all right now let's change the age let's say 11 now save this file and refresh the page you can see here you are not adult okay because condition is false all right now let's see the include directive okay Blade template engine provides include directive for including a view inside another view. Okay, 
the child view will have all the variables that are available to parent view okay for understanding include directive just create a new view so just go inside the view directory and here let's create a new view let's say file name is view name is headers dot blade dot php all right and inside this just add here a text inside the h1 tag simply add here headers uh, headers okay headers view now save this file and uh, now add this view to the test blade so just go inside the test blade and here i'm just going to add here on the top so just right here at the rate in directive so just right here in code and inside this just pass here the view name okay view name is headers so simply write here headers all right now save this file and uh, now let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here the header view okay so in this way you can use blade template in laravel 8 so that's all about blade templates so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching